We're starting off, as uh, you may see in your program, looking at what the section that I'm talking about, the first caretakers, and that, of course, being our indigenous peoples. So the setting by Chief Seattle of uh, that poem. And the next piece uh, comes from a Cree uh, musician and educator, Cheryl Suapagaham. Uh, Cheryl uh, lives in Alberta, is a music educator, and has uh, made it one of her missions to not only to help preserve and share the language, the Cree language, but also to share that style of music with a wider audience. And so she has created a number of pieces for choirs which celebrate various aspects of Cree culture, but in a way that is accessible to choirs like ours. And it's been a great ple pleasure of mine to have uh, participated in a few workshops with Cheryl over the last few years. And so our next piece is entitled, O Gamiwa Aski, Mother Earth. Indigenous peoples are experiencing climate impacts at a greater rate than non-Indigenous peoples because we're the people of the land. We're the ones that are seeing the impact first. We're at the front line of climate change, so therefore we need to be at the front line of climate solutions and we need to be speaking our truths about the issues that we're seeing. It's also important that Indigenous peoples from communities that are grassroots speak for themselves. A lot of times, unfortunately, our leadership are stuck in a rock and a hard place. Sometimes they can't be as critical as they'd like to be. And I think it's very important that community members have a voice and a platform to speak to the issues that they are concerned about. It's important for our stories to reach one another, but it's also important for our stories to reach across the globe. The way in which our communities have to engage not only with climate change, but all of the associated impacts of colonialism means that we're the ones that innately know these experiences very deeply, and that's why it's so important for the stories to come from us. Nobody can speak for us, and that's why it's important for organizations like ICA to exist because they help amplify the stories of our people and the communities across Turtle Island. 